BTFinalScore.com has East Texas high school sports covered. And now, you can take it with you. Get the latest scores for Friday Night Football, articles and videos. Focus in on Dot Me photo galleries and more. So don't miss a thing. And get your ETFinalScore.com app today. One of the ways that I like to lighten things up in the summertime is to make fresh salsa. I mean, there's so many great ingredients that are fresh right now, the tomatoes, the onions, basil, everything. And you can mix it up with so many different flavors. So what I'm gonna make here is a mango, tomato, avocado salsa. And it goes really great, I mean, just if you wanna eat it with chips or you can put it over grilled chicken or fish. So I've got here some diced avocado. And I'm just gonna start putting in some of my other ingredients. I've got some tomatoes here. And then this is some mango. It's nice to have a little bit of a sweet element in your salsa. I've done some with uh, peaches as well as grapefruit. So, you know, don't be afraid to put in a little something sweet because then that'll also balance the heat with your peppers. So here's some jalapeno, as much or as little of that as you like. And then also some chopped up onions. So get this all mixed in. And you might want to just let this kind of marinate in your refrigerator for about 20 or 30 minutes before you serve it. That way all of your flavors get married together really well. And here's some chopped cilantro. And just a little bit of lime or lemon juice. I've done one of each and you could also use orange juice. So then I'm just going to put a little bit in the bowl here. And then I've got some fish here. This is a nice piece of halibut that I just baked in parchment paper. And that's one of the easiest ways to make a nice piece of fish. And it just had a little bit of lemon and a little bit of olive oil in it. And it's perfect. Just put your little salsa over the top. And there you have a fresh salsa with a wonderful fish. And you can find this recipe in Wednesday's flavor section of the Tyler paper or on CBS19.tv.